Okay, welcome back to the classroom. My name is Mr. Wong and we are covering on module four, inquiry question one, part two or dot point uh, number two, three, uh, where we look at applying quantitative data to analyze the force of interaction and uh, the electric field strength uh, that charged particles place on other charged particles or when a charged particle goes through electric plate. Now this is a part two, less, uh, second part of a lesson where we uh, in the first part talked about how we represent the electric field. So if you haven't seen that bit yet, please have a look at that before you continue. All right, so what we know is uh, if we want to measure the magnitude of the electric field strength at any point of a charge, um, all we need is we need to measure the force it exerts, so we get this particular formula here. Okay, so we know that, uh, and we'll go into a bit more detail how we know this formula is true. Uh, the electric field strength that any charge particle is feeling is based on the force that's exerted on this charge particle here. Okay, if we want to work out the electric field strength of two charged plates, it is based on the voltage uh, that's been placed in the two metal plates. So if we want to make two charged metal plates, it's a simple application. You plug it into a power source, it could be a power pack, one plate, and obviously it needs to be conductive material, one side is given the positive end, uh, the other side is given the negative end of the terminal. How do you know that? Um, you just look at your diagrams here. So when we draw circuit diagrams, just remember the longer end of the power point represents the positive terminal, the shorter end represents the shorter terminal. The magnitude of the electric field, so how strong this magnetic field is, is dictated by the voltage, so how much volts you put into the circuit, and also the distance of separation between the two plates. So this distance here, from here to here, that will also have an effect on the electric field strength. If we actually look at the formula, it will show for us that the electric field strength is directly proportional to the voltage you use, and it is inversely proportional to the separation distance between the two charge plates. So these are formulas that you need to remember. It is on the formula sheet. Uh, my encouragement for you is to know it off by heart as well because we do come back to these formulas in module six uh, and a little bit of module eight in year 12. So F is force, so that's represented in Newtons. Q is the charge of the object that's measured in Coulombs. Generally, we deal with electrons, so you can find that on your formula sheet. E is the strength of the electric field that's given as newtons per coulomb, or another way of measuring it, because we know that our voltage is given in volts, okay, and distance is in meters, so it can be volts per meter. That's another way of measuring it. Let's do some calculations. Uh, this is quite a straightforward part of the lesson. We are really just doing some quick calculations here. So we have the cathode ray tube and we have a stream of electrons. The value is given to you here. Um, you have two electrically charged plates. The electric field strength is 400 newton per coulomb. What is the force acting on each electron? Okay, so I know the charge. So the charge is that value there. The electric field strength is 400 Newton per Coulomb. Uh, so the formula that I'm using is F equals to Q capital E. So the charge of the electric field. So the reason or the charge of the um, electron is that one there. Now I'm gonna leave it as a negative here because it's uh, electrons are negatively charged, so that will affect its overall orientation. Times that by the electric field strength, which is 400. The overall value, or the 
force exerted on my electron is And so the value is 6.408 times 10 to the minus 17 newtons. Uh, the next one we have, it says two parallel plates, 1.25 centimeters apart. So if it's 1.5 centimeters apart, same thing as saying 10 to the minus 2 meters. We have a voltage of 12. What's the magnitude of the field? So if we're talking about magnitude, we're trying to find the electric field strength. The voltage is 12, so we're basing it off this formula here. The distance is 1.25 to the power of minus 2. And that's roughly or at 960 newtons per coulomb, or you can write it as 960 volts per meter. Moving on to another set of questions, a little wrap up. It says we have two charged plates that are six centimeters apart in a vacuum, has a potential of 30, and the charge of the electron is located. We need to firstly find the magnitude of the electric field. So obviously firstly do your conversions and also just making sure you know um, what you're trying to measure in each part, so that's 6 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. So the magnitude is E voltage divided by distance. So the voltage we have is 30. The distance in separation is 6 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Okay, so if I plug that into my calculator, I get 500 Newton per Coulomb. Next, we want to calculate the force. So I know that the equation we have is this one here. The charge of the electron here, and then the electric field strength is 500. What we get is minus 8.01, 10 to the power of minus 17, uh, and that would be in newtons. So what does this minus represent? Now we know the uh, two charge plates, so electric field, it goes from positive to negative. Now if you're an electron, you don't move from positive to negative, because if you're an electron, you're negatively charged, so you're going to migrate to the positive end there. So you're actually going in the opposite direction. So electron moves in the opposite direction of the electric field. So electron moves in the opposite direction of electric field. And that's why it's a negative value. That's what we're trying to represent there. The last one is, what's the rate of acceleration of the electron? So I know what the force is. The force is 0 minus, 0, minus 8.01 to the power of minus 17. The mass of the electron, this is also found in your formula sheet. Substitute that in and see what you get. Okay, and we get minus 8 point, approximate minus 8.79 tens to the power of 13 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the acceleration the electron experiences when it gets attracted to the positive plate. Okay, that gives you all the values there. All right, so that concludes the lesson for today. Um, what we have done in the second part of this lesson is shown how to calculate 
um, the electric field strength of two charged plates. We've also learned how to find the force experienced by a charged particle if it's in an electric field. You can obviously work backwards. We, you can also find the electric field strength um, that the charge has experienced based on the force that's exerted onto it. We've also looked at the um, acceleration that a charge experiences. We didn't exclusively go through this kind of this form here, um, but it's the same idea as before. Uh, in our next lesson, we are going to be addressing Newton's second law uh, of charged particles in electric fields using this kind of detail here. And we're also going to look at uh, Coulomb's law, which is the interaction or the force experienced by two charged particles uh, when they're placed next to each other. But until then, thank you for joining me in this classroom lesson. Um, please replay any parts of the video if you didn't get it. And until next time, take care.